What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Redemption with Jaden. Before we get started, you guys can take a look at the deck and see what we got going on here. But uh, before I dive into kind of the overview of it, just want to say again, uh, thank you guys uh, for uh, helping me reach 100 subscribers. It's really awesome. We're even uh, a little bit past 100 now. Uh, I mentioned it in the live stream uh, a few weeks ago, which happened um, kind of the 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 week, I guess, after. Uh, it happened, or the week that it happened, uh, that we reached 100, so uh, that was really awesome. Uh, I do want to do something kind of special for it at some point. I'm not really sure what that is yet. I'm kind of got some ideas floating around. Um, I think I want to do something more than just like a, a giveaway. Um, I was thinking maybe some kind of tournament or something. I don't know if I would be able to get you know, enough people interested in a Type 2 only tournament, that would be pretty cool. Uh, maybe if I made the prizes worth it, but I don't know, would that be something that I could get people interested in doing? Um, that would be, that'd be kind of fun. It's a lot of, a lot of commitment to do that over Lackey, but, um, you know, maybe depending on the, the number of people that we have and, uh, the, you know, day that we pick out for it, it would probably just be like a, a Saturday when, you know, hopefully not very many people, are working and we can get as many people involved in that as possible uh, so I think that would be pretty cool uh, but I'm also you know just, uh, still kind of thinking about that and uh, the the details of that how it work um, maybe waiting until after the holidays because that's when people you know would probably be more available maybe by that time we'll uh, have GOC phase one available and we could, um, you know, for sure uh, want to incorporate that in, in probably some of the prizes. Uh, but if we can also incorporate it in some of the decks, that'd be kind of cool. Um, so that's something that is TBD. I mean, I imagine I won't get too far away from 100 subscribers before that happens. Um, so, you know, it'll still be kind of uh, uh, fresh in that sense. But before we get to all that, later on down the road, let's uh, look at what we're dealing with today here. Today, uh, I've got a clay deck, uh, Colossi is actually the kind of main focus of the offense here that we're looking at. Um, we've got a few missionaries and then uh, kind of the Justin Martyr uh, package, I guess like a little bit of a Martyr sub-theme with uh, Angel from the Sun, Justin Martyr. Uh, we've got Paul who's a Martyr, uh, Peter is also a Martyr. Uh, and then we've got Steven here in the reserve, and that's kind of what we're looking to do. The, the Colossi part is kind of to, to get some speed with, like, you know, Philemon, uh, get some drawing. Um, also, you know, Claudia helps with some card advantage there. Um, so that's kind of the, the speed element, and then the power element is going to come from uh, characters like Peter and Steven, who are going to make our axe enhancements cannot be negated. So we've got... Uh, some stuff like Snake into the Fire to deal with some of those pesky uh, demon defenses, like you know, Red Dragon, that kind of stuff. Uh, Lima Struck Blind, also pretty nice because uh, it's an interrupt and a battle winner, uh, just like Snake into the Fire. Uh, similarly, we've got Blessed Nations here, which is something that um, we don't see a whole lot, and maybe if we do, it's more in Genesis decks, but it is also an axe enhancement uh, because you can see it's kind of hard to get all the way through. All right, over there, I can. I'll just point to it on my screen, and you can pretend that I'm pointing to it on your screen as well. Over there in the reference for Blessed Nations says Genesis 12.3 and Acts 3.25, so it is an Acts enhancement, and uh, a mass band that cannot be negated is pretty good. It would be a little bit better if we had a hero that could, you know, like bounce an evil character or something like that to um, more consistently win the battle or so that it can, you know, be better against, uh, you know, bigger characters or a banding chain or uh, something or maybe like Red Dragon that's protected, um, but still pretty good. Uh, it just means that they have to have something to take care of all of your heroes, which isn't quite as common now in rotation, I've noticed. Uh, so uh, I guess something like Unsuccessful would still be pretty good, um, or something like uh, All the Curses that captures all heroes in battle, but we do have plenty of negates to and uh, interrupts to kind of help uh, deal with that, such as Resurrection of Martyrs, Gamaliel's Speech, uh, Blood of the Lamb, all uh, an overcome, uh, definitely one of the best ones because you can keep getting it back as long as you have good dominance. So uh, yeah, we're using um, lots of battle winners and negates and trying to make them cannot be negated uh, via Steven and Peter. Another way to make our battle winners cannot be negated, uh, which is really only one battle winner, um, but Scroll of Isaiah says good convert enhancements cannot be negated. When any character is converted, its owner may discard two cards and match them from hand instead. 
So, um, as you can see, there aren't really many convert enhancements in here, except you've got this one. Uh, New Covenant, it converts all evil humans in battle. You can draw one and top deck this card. Um, the artifact has unity, which we do meet in the main deck, uh, with the exception of Angel from the Sun. Uh, all of our heroes share clay. Um, Angel from the Sun usually doesn't sit in your territory anyway, and you can um, kind of prevent it from doing that by just not putting it down, or if you do, you're just attacking with it and exchanging with a martyr and somewhere else. So, um, yeah, usually you have clay unity, and using that ban ability is pretty good, uh, because it also shuffles New Covenant back into your deck, so you can later use it as an enhancement battle winner. Um, the nice part about uh, pairing it with Scroll of Isaiah, so you make it Kanabi negated, and then uh, if your opponent does choose to instead the ability, which a lot of times they're probably not going to because people aren't running that many evil cards, they're running more than they used to, so you might be able to have two cards of match from gate in hand to discard, but if they have storehouse that doesn't work, um, and you know if they discard two evil cards then you're probably doing just fine anyway. Um, but the thing with New Covenant is that you can draw one and top deck it, so if they instead it, then you can just, um, you, you get another card, you get to top deck it, and if you have Joshua out, of course Joshua's got to be in the deck, then uh, you just draw New Covenant back again, and then you can play it again in the, the battle, because, you know, likely you'll still have initiative unless it was, like, mutual or stalemate or something like that, but, um, he's basically there just to get some value with, uh, Pretty much just New Covenant. Um, there aren't really many other top deck abilities. Um, yep, yeah, even that, even Redeeming Branch is just a, a take. But we are playing Gray on the defense, so we do get to utilize Balaam's Prophecy as well. Um, so that's just kind of a, a natural fit. I've got to put Joshua in the deck somewhere. You know, he, he does turn off the Unity for New Covenant, so you kind of got to kind of got to be careful with that if you're if that's part of your plan. But he's in reserve, and we're not necessarily trying to get him out right away anyway in this deck. Um, so it shouldn't matter too much, and we're trying to use the enhancement side of New Covenant either way. So uh, we do have Seventh Bowl of Wrath, which works well on our defense and could be played on Joshua in a pinch, but uh, if you're doing that, you're probably already in trouble. Uh, but New Covenant can also be played on Joshua, so I mean, if you really want to attack with him, um, maybe you change up the deck a little bit and put a, a good fortress in there like Tabernacle or Wall of Protection or something like that. Then you can get a little bit of value from uh, Joshua and make his ability cannot be negated as well, just in case they you know, are negating heroes. <clears throat> um, as you may have noticed, there are eight Lost Souls and eight Dominants in this deck, so it is another 57-ish card deck. I actually, right before the game, was like, oh, I should probably have a way to Soul Gen, for one, I guess, and then also, uh, because I'm using Missionaries, it just makes a lot of sense to put Ends of the Earth in here. So I put it in as a 58th card. Um, you know, that's a nice part about running 57 is that you can put in one more card in a pinch. I wouldn't recommend doing it all the time. Like, you know, consistently I would find another card to cut for it. But you can add one card at a time um, into your deck and try it out, see how it works, and see if there's something else that doesn't work. Um, we did get a little bit cheeky in the offense here using examining the scriptures, uh, which you can place on a lost soul or a human evil character, and negate that card. If the card is rescued or converted, you can top deck examining the scriptures. It is an axe enhancement, so it you know, cannot be negated on Peter and Stephen, I guess, if you do that in Peter's territory class, so it cannot be negated on him uh, if you do it that way. Um, but when you place it on a human evil character, then if they block with that evil character, you can play Rebel and Dust to discard it, regardless of protection. Um, the problem with this, I mean, like, it's, it's not really a problem, it's just a, I don't know, loophole? Not really. Uh, but if they block with foreign wives, say, against, you know, you attack with Philemon, draw three, or, you know, Justin Martyr, um, after going with Angel from the Sun, and you draw two there, um, then they can block with foreign wives, and foreign wives, I'm almost positive, I, I like, pl uh, placing, examining the scriptures would target foreign wives, like, it, it targets the, uh, card that it's placed on, so foreign wives is protected, then you wouldn't be able to place examining the scriptures on her during the battle, um, even though Rubble and Dust is rare at list of protect abilities, so you do have to kind of, you know, worry about that. Uh, but we do have some other options for foreign wives, such as Peter Sermon in reserve here, to regardless of protection, convert an evil character. I guess that is another convert enhancement that we have for Scroll of Isaiah. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, the other one I considered was using Outpouring, uh, which pretty good with Scroll of Isaiah because 
um, it it negates a new card, and then if a whole or then if it's a human, you get to convert it, and then it cannot be negated if the Holy Spirit is in play. Um, we're not using the Holy Spirit in this deck, and maybe if we didn't get cheeky with the uh, examining the scriptures here, we would put Holy Spirit in in place of Rebel and Dust. But I think Rebel and Dust is kind of an underrated dominant right now. There's a lot of um, you know, situations in which it's useful, uh, especially against something like a flood deck, or um, you know maybe if someone puts a site in there or a lost soul in there, like treacherous land or something. Um, people probably wouldn't put a site in their ends of the earth, but you know, I've seen weirder things. Um, the problem with outpouring, I guess, is that we're also running Colosseum, and it has cannot be negated in the special ability, so it would be tossed by Colosseum, but it does have um, a strength of five here, so that's. It's actually not too bad, and it's also a star card, so we can grab it with Balaam's Prophecy uh, or Redeeming Branch, which um, Redeeming Branch might be a card that we could cut here. Um, we have a, a decent number of ways to get heroes and not very many other star cards. Uh, we have uh, Blessed the Nations, we've got Balaam's Prophecy, we've got Stricken. Um, so there's a, a few options there, but uh, I just figured another way to kind of do get some hero selection would be nice, um, but Claudia does that pretty well. I don't know, might not be necessary. That might be the the, the 58th card to cut here. Um, let's see. Looking at, uh, I think I think the rest of the the lost souls and dominants are pretty self-explanatory. Um, we're running New Testament characters, so we get to run accusers, which is pretty good. And running a lot of um, kind of counter lost souls, I think, is uh, pretty good right now. We got Forsaken, Accusers, just things to kind of slow your opponent down, and then a little bit of aggression here with the uh, Lawless and uh, Remnant and Darkness. Um, so, yeah, I think that uh, it's kind of a, a defensive Lost Soul package for the most part, um, but Accusers can obviously, I mean, Accusers and Forsaken can obviously be offensive as well. Uh, a lot of Old Testament defenses going around, and a decent amount of banding on defense. Um, on my defense here, it's kind of small, but it's, um, I would say, maybe surprisingly effective. Um, you know, it, you, you run the risk of not having evil characters early on, which is uh, partially why we're running darkness here. But we've got a lot of um, power once you do get to the defense. You know, Terrifying Beast and Emperor Domitian uh, can be really beastly, I guess. Um, you know, really kind of chipping away at your opponent's... Uh, cards you know slowly or i mean quickly if you if you have like terrifying beast and band to emperor domitian um you can you know really do a lot of uh work especially against a lone hero um if they have storehouse then they can't instead them so um you know makes terrifying beast a little bit harder because they have to discard something in territory if they have noah's ark and storehouse then they're really kind of um in trouble i guess <clears throat> Um, and since we're running Forsaken, we can also run Emperor Nero pretty effectively. Uh, he also lets us search for Colosseum. Um, P Portius Festus is one that I'm you know, a little bit um, on the fence about, but I think 8-2 with First Strike uh, is pretty good and taking away one of their uh, enhancements, especially with the other guys that kind of give us some uh, you know, poking at their hand, uh, can be pretty useful. Um, the, the first strike I say is nice because uh, we have some negates here that we can run with him. Um, and then we're also running Roman Spearman. Uh, it's kind of a sneaky play, I think, to just toss all enhancements that are played in the battle. And we're running uh, Stricken here, Plot to Kill, both enhancements that uh, have pretty high strength, so they, they toss for a decent amount, uh, as well as we're playing Doubt on the defense, which I think is also kind of an underrated dominant that pretty much gets a block every time you use it. So, um, you know, maybe Christian Martyr would be better, but I think Doubt, in this case, uh, can be a little bit more effective, you know, taking people by surprise. Maybe you add it to a battle where you're blocking with Emperor Nero, and you negate heroes, so you negate their banding or something, so it kicks out one of their heroes. Um, lots of uh, flexibility, I think, with Doubt. Uh, he does toss all of our evil enhancements here, except for Unsuccessful and Seventh Bowl of Wrath. Uh, which is another negate, and is another really big card to toss. So uh, I guess he also doesn't toss Camellia's Speech and Forbidden Marriage, which we have in the reserve here. That one I'm not really sure about, but I think it's another way to kind of, again, poke at your opponent's hand. Um, and the rest of the, the gray stuff is pretty straightforward. Uh, in reserve we have Colosseum Lion and Emperor Claudius, because I think empty heroes are going to be 
a little bit more popular now. I mean, uh, especially once GOC comes out, like, you know, going to see a lot of New Testament heroes, and I think Emperor Claudius is going to be pretty good. Um, but even now, uh, I think we're seeing a little more New Testament as people are kind of experimenting with different things in rotation and decks like this and decks like the one I played last week uh, where you're, you know, uh, a lot of the alt rescue cards are New Testament and use kind of some some New Testament themes like uh, I think you know Justin Martyr and Polycarp were both in there, so yeah, definitely some uh, cool stuff in there. And then of course Colosseum Lion works really well with lurking. You interrupt battle, abandon men, discard their enhancement, and then you get to uh, play an enhancement of your own, such as unsuccessful. So that is the deck this week. We took it out against Rob Smith. Uh, it was a a pretty fun game, a little bit um, uh, unbalanced luck-wise, I guess, um, but I think it was still a good game, and the score was uh, you know, still fairly close, so I hope you guys enjoy it and hope you learn some things from it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Alright. I'd like to see some lost souls there. It's nice. I, I wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we'll roll. Uh, just doing that soul hiding defense, remember? Yeah. <laughs> For right. those first cut, the edited cut, soul gen. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep, exactly. All right, uh, I got a six here. Um, I think I will go ahead and go first, I guess. Sure. Um, let's, uh, oh, I guess, yeah, I, I don't have any star abilities, so it's all you. All right, um, let's see what star abilities I want to use. Uh, this seems good. Both of these. Yeah, I like that one. Looking right. in my hand. Uh, unless it's look. So that's just me. Take one. Uh, uh, let's take that to my hand. To under deck virgin birth mm -hmm. and then let's see what you got going on <laughs> it's uh, uh lots of evil characters again and and uh i don't know what that one is <laughs> um okay There is definitely one that I don't know what it is. All right. I'm assuming you'll have to wait. Definitely one? You don't know? <laughs> what do you mean? Huh? What do you mean you don't know what it is? There's one that's like, you know how the back of the redemption card is? Uh-huh. I mean, it, when I hover over it, it shows me Book of the Covenant, but... Oh. That's, um... Oh, there it goes. There we go. No. Maybe it just didn't clear the first time. Yeah, uh, I, uh, I forgot that... Or I was like, oh, I don't have any stars or souls, and I was like, all right, I'll just go ahead and start my turn. So I flipped over a book. Go see spoiler. He's about to slam one here. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the real reason I messed up the the first game, <laughs> the recording. I was like, oh, I didn't get to play the GOC card. No. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so that's my stars. All right. And your souls. All righty. Um. Probably just go ahead and discard that Emmaus Road. I don't think you'll need it. Um, maybe. <laughs> Actually, going to disc, disc. Let's discard this. Ooh, discarding lurking, huh? And then your souls can go. And then. All right. Uh, I will use my remnant to take a hero from my reserve. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, I will go ahead and start my turn then. Yep. Let's put down this uh, artifact. Hmm. 
But you have no idea what that one is. No, that's the GOC one, I think. Yep. Uh, that one that feels pretty bad on the first turn of the game now. Um, let's go ahead and play a Resurrection of Martyrs. Oh, yeah. I think it's only really good if you're playing Priest. Turn <laughs> one. Yeah. Yep, got to have those uh, Tabernacle Priests. Um... Yeah, let's uh, rescue with Angel from the Sun. Mm hmm. And. Hmm, do we even want to draw here? Um. Hmm. Yeah, what are the odds with me opening her twice? <laughs> um. Hmm. 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 What I'm really more concerned about was the odds of you opening up with Imprisoned Prophet twice. <laughs> um. I think overall I'm going to be better off doing some drawing here. Okay. So, oops. I guess I'm still going to search for. Uh, Blood of the Lamb. Mm -hmm. And draw two. Ooh, mm -hmm. no muscles. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. And my block. Yes, sir. Alright. Let's see what I can do here. I'll give you prosperity. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Unfortunately, my hand's a little similar. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Yep, we're going to go ahead and pass the turn. Alrighty. Draw three. Um, yeah, I don't know why I wouldn't use this star ability. Seems good. <clears throat> Top deck lost soul from your bottom six. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and that says top deck a top deck one, so I don't think I have to show you. That is what. correct. Which is a little bit unfortunate because if it's a top deck a good card, then it'd work better with Joshua. Both the star I, ability and the ability ability. Oh I know. Let's so. top deck that. Put those that's, back. that's okay though. Um let's go. Treacherous lands. Storehouse. You don't like either of those. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's put Mr. Jeremiah down. Mm -hmm. Um Emmaus Road. Mm-hmm. Star card. Hmm. I wish you were star card, but you're not. <laughs> Let's just go with off your son. Okay. I'll go ahead and play that as well. Yep. Those treasures. Um, which I have to go to my deck because we're in that lovely reserve rule. Lovely. Take that blindness. Ah, it worked this time. Two. Hey, there's uh, a soul. Having having blindness in your deck worked. <laughs> yep. Having blindness. Yeah, the uh, first game for for those watching, Rob played a delivered into endless treasures on turn one with blindness in his hand, and uh, 
didn't have something else to go for. <laughs> Which in turn mean I couldn't draw. Right. So I was like, uh, ew. I mean, hey, you got a... Well, I guess no, you didn't even get a card out of your deck with Delivered, because it was uh, underdecked, so... <laughs> Um, you put it somewhere where you could draw it back pretty easily with Treacherous Land. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see here. I don't think I have a way of soul jetting right now. Woohoo! Well. So what we're going to do here is... Isaiah down and eat. Deceiver mm -hmm. and Elijah seems good and I'll pass my turn. Alrighty, what do we got here? Um. Hmm. All right, let's turn over book <coughs> and I will search for Covenant with Abraham. Um, sure. Can I play a dominant? Sure. After. Uh, I'm actually going to play Woes as Evil in the gate book. Okay. And this will go back. Um, it's not very nice. <laughs> I had to remember. Teach, teach myself that if they grab it, don't let them put it in there because the contents can't be negated. You gotta hit it before. <laughs> yep, that is for sure. Um, uh, then I guess in that case, uh, the play is to go to my rescue attempt. Mm -hmm. Um. I think. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with uh, Justin Martyr and grab Ward of their testimony from reserve. I'm going to draw one off my T land. Yep. Uh, lock with the cop again. King of Tyrus. Alrighty. Did he give me a candidate from reserve? Uh, I did have Doom Canaanites in, but I took that out beforehand. Ah, bummer. Yeah, no. Um, I kind of thought I'd change the deck up with us doing the second one. To... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, hmm. I think I will... And I think I should have done that a little differently. Um, let's do Overcome and Discard King of Tyrus. Reveal the Dominant Man. So, your special initiative. Yeah, let's go with Blindness. Yep. Um... Oh, man. Yeah, I really made a mistake there. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll... Actually, I'm not even sure if that would... Yeah, I think it would. Okay. Um, I'm going to play a good Chronicles. Mm-hmm. So that's going to discard. Find this. 
Yep. And I don't believe... Oh, so yeah, I guess that puts you back in special initiative, but I don't believe the reveal part would activate because it never got to activate to begin with. I'm not sure about that, but... That would be my guess, anyway. Um, and what are you doing? You're discarding me, so yep. and Chronicles is there. I believe I'll have to discard him. Cool. Well, I don't like how this game's going a lot worse than the first one. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the first one is a lot more interesting towards the beginning, kind of like how it started out, I guess, just with no lost souls on both sides instead of just mine. Right. Uh, I'm do sure. this guy's Colossi. Okay. And um, I guess, yeah, we'll pass the turn. Sure. Alrighty. Well, let's uh, use this star ability and discard the top card of your deck. Ooh. Take that. It's like the uh, second game in a row, I think, that that's, that's happened to me, not including the one we just played. <laughs> um, Delivering the you... treasures. I'm actually going to use my upkeep on my woes this game, and I'm actually going to keep my uh, woes on your book. Makes sense. You played it as evil, right? Yes, it did. All right, I'm just going to... Yeah. Note there. Um, let's go to my my reserve and storehouse. Mm -hmm. Um, trying to remember what you had defensively. Let's uh, let's take. Ease descendant. Okay. Um, and then we are going to play my delivery again. Treasures. Oh, we'll under deck that. And go to my reserve. And I'll give you that opportunity again. Mm hmm. I will decline. Alright, draw two. Oh, this is looking a little better. Alright, we'll use exiles. Good. Take. Actually, I'm going to go to the discard pile. I think I'm going to take delivery. Okay. So you get top decked, though. Oh, that's no, right. No Joshua. No, no Joshua. Oh, well. Um. You don't have a soul, do you? Well, that's kind of harsh. It is. <laughs> so now, my question is on this. If you, uh... Well, never mind, I already activated one. Alright, so let's... I'm going to rescue with Angel of the Winds. Mm-hmm. Was your question if you, is if you could activate another artifact? I, I, I realized that I didn't want... I, that if I could, because one was activated off delivered, but I don't want to take confusion off. Right, okay. I was going to let you do it if you wanted to. No, no. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I'm going to exchange with the Imprisoned Prophet from yep. the deck. Makes sense. Uh, capture him to you, and then I'm going to 
bring in Mr. Jeremiah. Let's check your handout. Oh, lots of fun things. Oh, <laughs> lots of offense. Yeah, but I don't like that uh, defense there either. <laughs> that one. That miss potentially. Mr. Yeah. Honored, you know, good enough by himself. You will yeah. here. I'll let you uh, go to your box. Cool. Um, yeah, I guess we'll block with Mr. Nero. And let's go ahead and take out the Coliseum. Nice. Um... Well, protected from lone heroes. Yep, got your uh, any of your abandoned cards there? Uh, no, but I do have two bears. Two bears, and I, unfortunately, I will have to shuffle my deceiver. I think as well. Um. Yeah, I would uh, negate it, but uh, I think since you have to shuffle your deceiver, I'll, I'll let it slide. I think he's got the toss, too. Oh, yeah. And I don't have an enhancement to negate it, so... <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. Jeremiah and the Bears. Yep. Jer Jerry and the Bears, there we go. Jerry and the Bears. Um, and then... I think what I'm going to do, I don't want to have to discard, so I think I'm going to do Offering Your Son. Mm -hmm. Golden Chair. Alright. Um, I'm just going to put that down in my artifact pile and say go. Cool. Oh, still no lost souls there. No, you're making me have to make my own. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, no upkeep things here. So let's put down the Coliseum. Let's uh, turn over that negated book. Um, let's see, you're just negating my heroes. So let's see. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going to put down Philemon. Mm -hmm. And then I will. Uh, oh, actually, I suppose I should play that now. Okay. Um, I'm gonna play Fifth Seal on Justin Martyr. Yep. And I'm gonna go fetch something from my deck here. Where's all my search triggers? <laughs> I know, right? Um. Let's grab um, Snake into the Fire. Nice. And then I will make a rescue attempt with Paul, who Paul. negates your silly treacherous land. <laughs> oh. Nice. Hmm. Negate neutral cards. Oh, wait, Treacherous Lands has an axe reference. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wait a second, no. <laughs> no. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do here. 
I'm gonna play Falling Away and Converting the Black Evil Character. Hmm. All uh, right. Yep, that'll do it. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I got. So I will pass to you. All right. And now he's good again. Where <clears throat> should have converted him to gray? You know, he'd be a gray Pharisee then. Yeah. <laughs> um, him to soul. Wait a second. Yeah. No. Oh. That was the card back in the day. <laughs> Good old Saul Paul. Which I realize that now rotation made an makes Ananias of Damascus like a pretty much a dead card. Yeah, pretty much. I guess he, he still protects Paul in your territory from opponents if you have you know, promo Paul. But Yeah, but Maybe we'll um, get a Saul Paul reprint someday. Hopefully. Maybe <laughs> He was the first, like, flip kind of meat card. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I think philosophy might have been before him. Oh, that's right, yeah. But, yeah, he was uh, the first kind of one with an ability, I guess. <laughs> that was, well, no, philosophy was pretty widely used back in the day. What did you say? I said, I guess uh, he wasn't really me because I think both sides had an ability. Right. Yeah. Yep. Um, upkeep. I think I'm gonna move my evil woes. So that's CVP. Let's go to the um, resurrection of martyrs. Yep. And then storehouse. I'm going to grab great fish. Yep. Um, let's go ahead and put the deceiver back down. Wages found, his, of... found his way back, huh? He did. <laughs> Wages of sin. Sheol. Mm -hmm. There is a search counter. There we go. We're getting, we're getting there. Mm -hmm. Um, put my wages there, and then want to change. I think I like that. We'll go with, uh, you don't have a soul out there. <laughs> and I promise they're in the deck. You saw them last game and I didn't, oh, I mean, didn't switch. <laughs> I know they're there. It's just like, wow. Um, do I want to do that or do I not? Could be a mistake, but we'll try it. Ooh, putting down the confusion. Let's activate Golden Cherubim. Yep. We're going to attempt me to draw with my Philemon and my Paul here. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm not just going to punish your searching. <laughs> <laughs> um... I think what I... I'm going to put down... Messenger of Satan and then pass. Alrighty. I will draw. Um. Hmm. Got the shield. Do we want to search? Uh, I don't think we can afford to at this point. Um, 
So I think what I'm going to do is just go right into battle here. And I'm going to attack with Mr. Peter. The young enclave here is captured. Search for accidental accident enhancements on Peter or CBN. Hmm. So it's a That's very, interesting. very strange draw for this. I mean, was it? I mean, just for for Lackey. I mean, to not have hit yeah. any lost souls yet. Yeah, that's very strange. Um, so nothing's negating characters. Nope. Let's go with. Uh, I know that you have that in your hand. Hmm, you're making it hard for me. <laughs> well, let's. I'm gonna do the best block I can. Uh, let's go with Messenger of Satan. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll draw one from the bottom of my deck. Bottom one to top of hand. Hopefully, it was worth it. Um, hey, that looks familiar. And then <laughs> he may ban to a human, so I'm going to ban to the mediums. Yep. To Deceiver. Yep. They're in my hand, aren't they? Sure enough. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I had to do it at least one time in this game since I messed up last game about searching for something that's in my hand already. I suppose, yeah, that would... It's, it's, only, it's only fair... So, I think that's my block since I can't even. Um, Echo Reserve, yeah. Well, I guess that would make it your initiative. You are a 9 9. Alrighty, well, Ways of Sin. And I'm going to, uh, with wages, I'm actually going to uh, try to discard Peter. Um, all right, I will. Um, yeah, I'll negate that with Blood of the Lamb. Okay. Draw three. So and play um, word of their testimony to underdeck Judean mediums and banish deceiver. All right. Uh, so I've got some triggers here. Um, you got two two treacherous lands from what I can see. And one golden cherubim. Yep. So I guess those would those would resolve after the word of their testimony. Oh, Judean mediums is gonna what honor deck? Uh, yep. And then deceiver be banished. And then 
the Seabird goes to the Banish Pile. Okay. And then now those would resolve, right? Yep. So. Yeah, so I probably didn't really need to uh, draw with Blood of the Land there, did I? Blood Still didn't hit a lost soul there, by the way. I don't know. I don't understand this. <laughs> <laughs> um, bottom one to top of hand. Yeah, yeah. Might, might even have to just play a third game after this just for yeah. Yeah, content purposes. Um, <laughs> yeah, seriously. Now, I don't look for three cards. It's, I look for one because it's the same ability in Blood of the Land. Yep. Wow. Let's look for any card. <laughs> and I would be losing right now, right? It's my initiative. Uh uh yeah, numbers wise, yeah, it would be your initiative. Any card I'm yeah. We'll, we'll take that. Okay. And you also you just don't have to show me with the golden cherubim, but uh, um, with that though, I'm going to play Angel of the Lord to discard Messenger. You got it. Um, I'll give you Exiles. Alrighty. Then, uh, well, I'll shoot that something else, but um, we'll. Play Son of God to your rescue Forsaken. Yep. Uh, and then I will, I guess because I got it, play Second Coming to search for Son of God. And I'll draw two off of that. Yep. Off of land. Alright. And I will put down Polycarp, take John from Reserve. Um, let's see. Yeah, just search, so I'll put them in my hand. Put down an Epaphras, and I will pass the turn. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, uh, that uh, lawless. <laughs> right there, that lawless just doesn't like me. I don't. <laughs> um... Well, I don't have any star abilities, and I'm actually going to choose not. I'm actually going to use Lawless on you, actually. Might as well. There you go. Can't uh, can't hurt, I suppose. No. Are you revealing, or should I do it? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. It's the top six. Ah, uh, it's all players. Just uh, you know, don't want to both do it because then it does the weird like glitch. Yeah. Thing. Oh, that's my hand. Oh, was it? I hit your deck. I'm sorry. Uh, I did that on the the live stream last, <laughs> uh, I guess a couple weeks ago now, too. So. Oh, there you go, remnant. There's your souls. <laughs> you found it. You, I guess you get to pick an evil card. Uh, let's do this one. You know, like that one. So. Yeah. <laughs> All uh, right. Guess I'll uh, take your Jeremiah with Remnant. So I'm actually gonna Son of God that Remnant. Fair enough. Uh, can I play a Dominant then? Uh, no, I'm actually gonna play one. Oh, okay. We'll play Second Coming. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm gonna make. At least a little bit of, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, 5-3, that's... Yeah, and then I'll sign it out. Accusers, I assume, you said. Accusers, yep. Um, you're free to play your dominant. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Right. Take that, that lawless. <laughs> well, there you go. good game. A little bit quicker than the first one. Not quite as exciting. <laughs> I was, it was still pretty good. Um, I drew a, lot, a good bit of my offense right there. Yeah. I might have power, been able to power through something, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you probably would have. I mean, I 
drew Nero again, but <laughs> that's about it. I had an angel of the Lord in my hand. <laughs> oh, nice. But he's protected from dominance, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I actually didn't have any gain in my hand, so. Ooh. Nero, Nero might have gotten it done. Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, he probably might have. Because I don't get it your bench for me to use Elijah. And... Right, yep. So. Yeah, it's because I, you know, I, didn't draw anybody to put down for you. I drew all my heroes and my good enhancements. And... I know, you, you, it looked like you drew everything offensively, and I was just like, wow. Yeah, I was like, uh, here, let's just draw all my offense and then not draw any lost souls, and I don't have to worry about having defense. You know? Yeah. That's... <laughs> that's the strategy right there. <laughs> Take notes, people. I, I, uh, John Early said that too. Like the best defense is not drawing souls. Oh yeah, yeah. Which I mean, like, you know, I think soul hiding is maybe a valid strategy in in rotation here. I don't know. Like majestic heavens is fairly common. I mean, Hopper is back in. Yeah. In most decks, I guess, because you know, it doesn't hurt you. And, your chances of going first now. Right. But, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, well-timed DOU with some uh, shield triggers and stuff. Like, they can, yeah. can be pretty good. Well, then there's the, you can always get the, I mean, it's probably not good on first turn, but you can definitely get the conjurers to the DOU in reserve. And... Mm -hmm. So, even when they come out with something that's like, uh, and I believe I'm correct in the ruling, like, even someone that negates characters, he's CBI, so if he's not out already and he comes from your hand... Right, yeah, they'd have to uh, prevent him you know, before he entered yeah. battle or something, so... I mean, something yeah. like Noah or something would you know, stop him, but... Yeah. But, uh... But... Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, you know, really didn't get to show off all the, the cool <laughs> stuff in this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> holding on to this vain philosophy and rubble and dust for, for the whole game, neither of which did anything after your first turn storehouse and, uh, you know, of <laughs> course <clears throat> being smart enough not to put a lost soul in T-Land. <laughs> yeah. But, you you can thank my brother uh, for that. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> um, but also, I mean, like, <clears throat> yeah, this was kind of silly. I didn't draw any lost souls, and I drew uh, six of my eight dominants. Wow. So, yeah. Was, mm. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll have to get another one in here at some point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> see, see if it's a little bit better content for the folks out there. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, I mean, you know, a quick game once in a while, but it was still, you know, 5-3. That's Right. Still, yeah, entertaining to some degree. Get a. I'm going to see a lot of the clay offense and what it does. And right, yeah. Um, I pretty much embarrassed the demons. I think this time, but. <laughs> uh, no, I think I embarrassed the demons. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was definitely you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it, it helps to draw like all of your good enhancements. But, uh... Yeah. Well, when I just have Shield out, I don't have my Jonah or my Fallen Star out, and right, yep, all the all the pressure cards. <laughs> yep. All right, cool. Well, uh, I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up for this this episode video. I don't know. I don't know if I should really call them episodes, but <laughs> yeah, they come every week. It's kind of like a, a series. Yeah, it um, is. But yeah, that's where we're gonna call it for today. Thanks again, Rob, for getting uh, another game in with me after my little amateur amateur move there no problem uh, but yeah we'll definitely get another more exciting game here in, in the future too so definitely so yeah we'll catch you later and we'll thank you everybody else for watching and we'll catch you next time all right see you.